Hello and welcome to Grammar Bytes. In this video, probability. When we give or ask for opinions about future probability, it is common to use will or be going to. Both will and be going to are used with the infinitive of the verb, that is, the verb one form, as in the examples. How many people do you think will come? Do you think your sister is going to join us? To say something will or is going to happen is very strong. It sounds very confident. Sometimes too confident. So often, when we express probability, we modify our opinion with an adverb or a phrase. As we said, just using will or be going to to talk about probability is very confident. So often we modify these statements. Here is our scale of probability. This shows us how confident or certain we are about our opinion. We can be very confident and say that something almost certainly will happen or almost certainly won't happen. If we are a bit less confident but still fairly sure, we can say it probably will or it probably won't. If we are not sure whether or not it will happen, then we have phrases like it may or it may not. We have a number of different expressions that we can use to express these different levels of probability. To say that we're almost certain about something, some phrases we can use are will almost certainly, will definitely, be bound to and be sure. Here are some examples. They'll almost certainly give their mother a headache. There will definitely be more people getting on at the next stop. It's the same every rush hour. They're five nil up. With 10 minutes left, they're bound to win. I am sure the test will be on Wednesday. To say that something is probable, we can use a good chance, probably, and fairly likely. The weather in London is changeable. There's a good chance that it'll rain. I'll probably have enough money until payday. I hope my maths are correct. If he always does that with his phone, it's fairly likely he'll have neck problems in the future. To say that something may or may not happen, we can say a chance it will, a chance it will not, it might or it might not. The other team are the best in the world, but there's a chance we'll win. Their star player is injured. There's a chance Sally won't join us. She said she was a bit busy today. We might not sell our company. We might try to find more investment. To say that something probably won't happen, we can use unlikely to, a small chance, or probably won't. You're unlikely to get a seat on this tram. It's normally full of tourists. There's a small chance that he'll continue studying. He really wants to find a job and start work. We probably won't go abroad on holiday this year. It's too expensive these days. To say that something is almost certain not to happen, we can use doubt. Definitely won't and almost certainly won't. I doubt we'll win. We're playing the champions. It definitely won't rain here today. They almost certainly won't rent this flat. It looks terrible. To yes no questions about the future probability, we can reply with just a short answer. This is very common in spoken English. Do you think you'll pass the exam? I hope so. This means she wants it to happen. You're bound to. You studied so much. Bound to. 99% sure. What about you? I doubt it. It was hard. Here are some more examples. Do you think we'll win this one? I don't think so. He's fairly sure we won't. What do you think? I hope not. I have a bet with Ahmet. 
I think we will win is a positive statement. The negative of this is, I don't think we'll win. Not, I think we won't win. I think we won't win is possible in some situations, but I don't think we'll win is more natural. Now it's over to you. There's a link below the video for extra practice. Have a great day.